at, after every shift, I would go to the cafeteria for a cup of coffee because I had to wait for a bus. And um, I noticed that uh, there was a fellow. I could always feel he was staring at me. And this went on for a couple, couple months. And finally, one of, one of his co-workers approached me and said, do you know that that fellow back there has a crush on you? And of course, I got all excited, you know. And uh, all of a sudden, one night, I was down the cafeteria, and he was too, but I had to leave to catch my bus. And I was up at, uh, up at the corner waiting for the bus, and this car pulled up. And uh, he rolled down his window, and he said, um, hi, can I give you a ride? So I got in the car, and we looked at each other, and um, he said, my name is Larry. I said, oh, I said, my name is Joyce. And that was the beginning of 38 years. So I was going to MATC and uh, working full time at Connell Can. Larry and I met in March. Of course, by June, he wanted to get married. And I said no, uh, but then we got married the following November. I, I was 23, he was 20, 27, we had 28, and we got married. We had six children. We had uh, three in one year with the twins. We had uh, four and two and a half years, uh, you know, two or four, right. but then two and a half years. And by the time we were married five years, we had five kids. And by the time we were married eight years, we had six kids. I think large families were common. I mean, Larry came from, from, came from a family of three, and I came from a family of, um, of seven. He did not have high blood pressure. He did not have the signs, the warning signs. I went for a walk one morning, and when I came home, uh, uh, Dennis told me that he found him a collapse on the floor in the bedroom. And they called 911, and he went to the hospital, he had a, a mass was drunk due to an aneurysm on the brain. I worked probably two years into his stroke and I just felt that my place was at home that I had to take care of him myself. So I took care of him for 10 years. We bought a, a, a motorized scooter for him and we made, made many trips back and forth up north at the cottage where he loved to go. There's been times where it's been really hard for me and I've been like, you know, what if I just forget about this, it'd be so much easier, which it would, but I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't want to date. There's nobody that I'd rather be with. I just, I don't know, I just couldn't, it's hard to explain. I just could not see myself with anyone else. It'd be weird. There was a week where we probably didn't talk to each other, but it always ended up where one of us would give in and call the other person back, but um, I think... What it came down to was, you know, me standing up for myself, mostly, because it was mostly me saying, um, oh, no, you um, cannot have your I cake and eat it too, so if you way, want me, you want me, if you don't, you don't, and he, he it took like, me walking I, like, out on him for to realize that, I think, because like, literally up my until me, he wasn't really, no uh, doubt about it. Um, I'm in it for I a long time anything, type of guy, I mean, he was at any time for a while, and then, you know, I mean, but all the girls he dated before me was kind He's of just the first a, person that I go to for everything. You know, like, I have away, girls that are my best friend, and I love them to death, and they help me, and they awesome. But him, he's just a total different connection than they are. He just, I don't know. He's like my other half. Like, I know that's all cliche, but he really is. He's like the other half of who I am, which I know is corny, but it's, it's true. When we would go to see his recruiter, he would be like, well, I think I'm going to be married by the time I leave, so what does that do I, for me? I, and I'm like, why? Well, exactly. <laughs> I'm sitting next to, marry to you. What are you planning on telling me this? Would be dead. But, um, um, he, um, just the fact that he was know, just like, so, we decided yeah, to wait to get, get married, married that day. What do you think? After boot camp yeah, and then he went on to be like, oh, we didn't know and so who I do would this make it today, and I did that never know. I think it would make our relationship not last if I would have been like, no, because... Well, this is his okay. dream. It's there was what a point wants. when he said, I can't you know, just you be like, me, 
not no, to go. If I you want to be with me, you cannot well, follow I your dreams. Do that you know, because and he would resent I have to love me. him for who he is, not for who and I want because to be, I know so. that if. I, I want to like, be home. Hey, trust this me. This is what I want to do. I want to go to this, this is what he program, wants. Which is in there's this sometimes state, which you have to make sacrifices would mean that you would have to. So if you wanted I did, to be with I made the sacrifice of having to deal with this on an everyday deal with basis. But I know he wouldn't. I don't know. To me, it's worth it. I don't know. We're just kind of just chilling. I can feel like this is my man. <laughs>